Hey there team, welcome back to Game Dev Academy. I'm Shane and in this video I want to share with you, as you can see on screen, Character Creator 4, which is not out yet. It's a work in progress video that I want to look at from Reillusion who made the software. And I want to share with you because I'm quite excited about it. I think it looks very cool and it's software that I would really like to get my hands on when it's released. I think it's going to be game changing and when something excites me like that, like with the Unreal Engine 5 release, I'd like to share that with you guys. So that's what we'll do today. Also, because I think it looks cool, and to be fair, their current version, Character Creator 3, is already pretty cool, I'll do a giveaway at the end of the video. So stick around for that. And now, shall we take a look at this uh, release video, or this um, work in progress video, rather, to see what this software is all about? So yeah, as you can see, it's a work in progress video, and they say you can enliven any character. So there we have um, some examples. He looks pretty cool. A character made out of tubers. Cool looking dog. Right, so there's... Oh, hang on. Let's just go back to that. So it says you can auto character import and it works with the DAS um, G3 and G4. I don't know what G3 and G4 is. Leave a comment down below if you can tell me what that is. I don't use DAS. Uh, the Blender Human Meta Rig. Cool. My Human IK. That's the one I like to use. So that's good. And the uh, 3DS Max Biped as well. So there's a lot of functionality and a lot of compatibility there. Cool. Okay, so we can create a character. Uh, it brings someone in. Uh, and then so it's showing you now all the different places that you can bring characters in from. And they've all got this walk animation applied. One from uh, the Maya rig as well there. So this is characterize any character rig. So hang on that. So this looks like a character that they've paid $10 for on... That's the Sketchfab site, I think. So they've taken one. I can't see if it says here whether or not it was pre-rigged. I'm going to assume it's already got bones, but I don't know that for sure. It is in the T-pose. You can see there are now bones in there, and they are now setting it up to work with an, an IK rig. And they've added animation. So that, that looks like it worked really quick. Uh, and it's thousands with... Compatible with thousands of iClone motions, so you can get things animated really quickly. So it comes with like built in motions. Oh, so fast. So, yeah, straight away it's animated. So, retarget original motions. Nice. <laughs> you can also see <laughs> they've used the controllers in um, character creators to change the size of it. So, even though it was already modeled, they've, because it's rigged, they can change it. We can add spring dynamics. Wow, so that's kind of the overlapping action and the secondary animation on things like tails and ears. It looks like it can add dynamics to handle that for you. And if you've ever had to do that by hand, you'll probably uh, recognize how time consuming that can be. So, yeah, look how it's working on the tail. They're nice and floppy. You don't want a stiff tail. Yeah, look at the difference between those two. So it does a little turn. Watch how the ears and tail move on the ones on the right. It has such a big difference. Okay, so we can now look at the face. So it's... Ah, so straight away it's allowing you to change some of the, like, expression templates on the face. And it's setting it up then to be ready, I would imagine, for more detailed facial animation. You can see that the person that's working on this is making changes to it in uh, ZBrush. So they're going out to another suite and adding whichever changes they think they need to get the result they want. And then that just goes straight back into Character Creator. Oh, yeah, and they blend pretty well together as well. Look at that. Ah, so here. Right. So it looks there. So they brought in some audio. And it's aligning visemes. So what your visemes are, are they kind of like uh, the mouth shapes that go with particular sounds when you're talking. So you've got like a ah, ee, ooh. So it's aligning them automatically, I think. And then the the animation comes out. So you've got auto lip syncing. Again, such a time saver. If you've ever had to do that before, that is, yeah, this is a big, big time saver. And you can see that that, that looks pretty good. So this one, this gentleman here, having a little sniff. So this is something that I am dying to play with. 
uh, which is with with iClone, you can use the the iPhone camera and have the facial animation go straight onto your rig. As you can see, this is happening here. Um, so there are also some settings that look like are in the app as well, but that's going straight in there. And the only reason I've not done this is because I don't own an Apple device. I'm not yet in the cult of Apple. Look at what, how cool is that? Just straight away. And I've seen some people with YouTube channels create some like ridiculous, like the animation's so good and they've done it so fast using this. Um, so yeah, it goes straight onto the character. And look how much fun he's having. So all the, the puff and the uh, crazy eyes and oh dear. <laughs> and looking a bit sort of creepy. Um, so we've brought in another character. And now they're sorting out skin weight of the cloth. So they can add things as beards and things, which is probably going to affect then how it moves and which parts of the body it goes with. We can have animatable accessories as well, so some things can be able to move. So again, that's really cool. You know, if you've got things like a sword, shield, armor. Ooh, what is this? So this looks like the epic metahumans, I think. So this is now showing the multi-level facial controls. So the character already looks cool. Look at so he's just moving parts of the nose, top lip, the ears. So it's showing just how expressive the characters can be. So it's even got the, let's just go back, the crease lines for the blink. Nice. You can dilate the pupils. I need to play with this. <laughs> you can purse the lips. So push and pucker. That sounds like a good name for a pub, doesn't it? Open it. Yeah, look. I mean, look at all the fine control that you've got. So each one of these has got controls. You've got both sides that you can control. So yeah, he's just showing us here now that you can do different sides. And it looks like it's just like drag on one of the parts as well. So the, you've got that going up and down. Oh, just go back. So when that mouse opening and closing, look at the Adam's apple. So even the Adam's apple pops. Like the, the detail on those characters is very, very, very impressive. So we're bringing um, characters back. So preview body rig, preview facial rig. Okay, so yeah, I mean, when you think how much time it would take to do this, not, I mean, not even frame by frame, but just keyframing it, you're talking dozens of hours and it's all just done. Oh, I need to get hold of this. So then it gives you the option to turntable display so you can show off your work. Right, yep, so you've got all this being shown here so you can render it and show it off. I mean, how cool would that look on your on your showreel in your portfolio? I mean, that's some good stuff. And uh, let's just go back. So it's then showing us um, some of the things that you can add it into the pipeline for. So Unreal Engine, Unity, Omniverse. Again, I still need to have a good play with Omniverse. Uh, and Blender, very cool. Yeah. And then it shows you it's used in Blender, Unity, Unreal Engine. And then I think it's summarizing, animate any rig, advanced facial performance, characters come alive, coming soon. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to share with you. As I've said, hopefully it comes across, I'm dying to be able to play with this. And I've spent already a lot of time trying to find cheap iPhones that are broken in just the specific ways that will let me do motion capture but allow me to buy it for cheap. Because I'm not paying a grand for a phone that I only want to use for facial capture. Although, if I was in a production space, that would probably still be worth it. Just wanted to share that with you. Speaking of sharing, I would also like to do a giveaway. So this is Character Creator 4 that we've been looking at. Character Creator 3 already exists. And I would like to give one license away. So um, if that is of interest to you, if you would like to get playing with this, and um, why wouldn't you? Here's what you need to do. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you liked most about uh, the features in Character Creator 4, which, which parts look particularly cool to you. Leave that comment, make sure you've liked the video, and make sure you subscribe, because in one week after this video goes live, I will be going through the comments, picking one at random, and I'll release a video to say who's won the license, and then we'll get details, and I'll send you some software, dude. That's it. I've also been creating video, so this is the second one I've done. The other one is for iClone 8, which is also work in progress. 
If you'd like to see that video, it'll be linked down below and also on screen somewhere. So make sure you check that out as well. But that brings us to the end. Hopefully you thought this was interesting. I know I did. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.